And now it is time to create a character. And I, my, this is my private world, Huntoon. I will be using Asphodel County, obviously. Yes, I want to start the game in Asphodel County. All right, now. These are your basic stats. You have strength, which affects your basic hit points, your carrying weight, and how much damage you deal in melee. As melee is very important, because, well, most of your weapons will be melee weapons, at least early on. Strength is a important stat. Dexterity has uh, makes it easier to hit in combat, makes it easier to throw items, and you know, a low dexterity applies a penalty to ranged attacks. Intelligence is important for determining how, well, smart you are, how good you are with building things, and um, learning from books. There are also, you notice, there's something about installing bionics. Yes, there are cybernetic modifications, and intelligence is a prime aspect for installing those properly. You may ask how, in God's name, someone could possibly install cybernetic modifications to themselves without killing themselves. Well, that's why you have to be smart. I'll explain when we get to it. Perception, again, it implies a penalty to ranged attacks. It is also important for detecting things. I'm going to leave perception at 10. You really can't afford to go lower than that. Now, for my first character, I've been thinking I will go for kind of a huntsman type, an outdoorsy type. Not particularly smart, so I'm going to leave his intelligence a little bit low but fairly strong and really good with a bow. So high dexterity, decent perception, decent strength. We'll move on to his traits. Now, looking at all of this, all of these traits have some sort of an effect on your character throughout the game. For example, accomplished sleeper, you find it much easier to fall asleep. That can be important. Uh, addiction resistant, you can, you know, more easily deal with addictive substances. Uh, cannibal, you can eat people. <laughs> uh, Fleet-footed, you run faster. Uh, infection resistant, you have a easier time resisting getting sick or infected with horrible diseases. Uh, less sleep, you can run on less sleep. Useful. I am going to be going with night vision because, well, this guy has always lived in the woods. He often hunts at night. He has good he has good night eyes. Outdoorsman, because he's going to be spending a lot of time outside. He's basically going to be a nomad. I'm going to go with Pack Mule, because it's much easier to, well, hoof it through the woods if you can carry a lot of things. Um let's see. I don't want to go with psychopath. Psychopath would be funny, but I don't want to go with psychopath. Let's see. I'm going to go with Weak Scent, because he's a hunter. It's not anything he particularly did, but it seems to work. I'm also going to go with Accomplished Sleeper, because a man who can sleep in the woods can sleep anywhere. And then I'm going to take Eagle Eyed. He can spot things at a longer distance. And I'm going to say that's good for now. And then I'm going to go to his negative traits. Now, you'll notice at the upper left of the screen there, I have negative 9 points left. Now, I have to end with a balance of 0 or better. That means that I have to take at least 9 points of negative traits. Now, I could cheat and simply take traits that I know won't affect me. Traits like, say, ugly, which will only matter if NPCs are enabled, which they're not. Or traits like, oh, forgetful, which only matters if skill rust is on. It's not, so that doesn't matter. So instead, what I'm going to go with is I'm going to go with heavy sleeper, 
because he can sleep anywhere, and he always and he tends to sleep through things that wander past him. He tends to have trouble waking up. He doesn't. He sleeps easily, but he doesn't sleep well. I'm going to go with illiterate. He cannot read. That's why he lives out in the woods. I'm going to go with. Let's see. Lightweight. He doesn't really drink. He doesn't take drugs. Mostly because he lives on the road out in the woods. And while it could be argued that that would be an even stronger recipe for getting really drunk most of the time, in this particular case, we're going to assume that he just doesn't. Now, as drugs and alcohol can be an effective mood booster and an effective way to deal with certain lacks in your character, well, this can be slightly painful. Uh, I'm also going to go with, let's see, so I still need more points, I still need more points. <laughs> Schizophrenia, no. Um, I'm going to go with, let's see, how about Trigger Happy. He doesn't actually know how to use guns very well. If he actually gets his hand on a machine gun of some kind, occasionally he's just going to let loose even if he doesn't mean to. This, as you can imagine, can occasionally be a problem. Now, I said I didn't want to go with the cheating um, traits, but I'm imagining this guy as just a little bit lacking in the looks department. So we're going to go with ugly. He's not a pretty man. Now we're going to go on to profession. For profession, this basically determines how you deal, uh, who you were before the apocalypse. And that determines what items you start with and what skills you start with. Survivor is the base. Basically, you have a pocket knife, you have one bottle of water, you have one way to create fire, and you have clothes on you. But you have no basic skills. You're just a normal person who happens to have a pocket knife and a bottle of water when the world comes to an end. Then you start going into the difficult professions. Tweaker, you used to be on meth until the world ended. Now you can't get your meth. You have a horrible meth addiction, and you're practically naked. <laughs> Not really very useful. Failed cyborg. Well, you have a bunch of cybernetic in, um, cybernetic parts installed. Too bad they're all broken. Crackhead. Exactly what it sounds like. But at least you start with crack this time. <laughs> it's better than the tweaker. Hitchhiker. This guy, not going with this. <laughs> Let's see, clown, hobo, no. Novice martial artist, this is basically someone who literally showed up one day to a dojo and then the world ended. Didn't end well for him. Shower victim, you were literally naked. <laughs> Now, let's see, I am going to go down here, and I'm going to pick the, I'm thinking, hmm, Lumberjack is a possibility. I might come back to Lumberjack, because that will give me an axe, and axes are very useful. But, if I don't go with that, I could go with Trapper. That gives me trapping skills, which could be useful for dealing with animals. Um... But that also does not give me any survival skills, and I might need those. Let's see. Can I keep looking? Can I keep looking? Um, looking down here, most of these are yeah. These are the more ex much more expensive ones. See, the survivalist would be very nice, but I would have to go back and find two more points somewhere. But Hmm. You know, I might want to do that, actually, because a survivalist is kind of exactly what I'm going for. 
Yes, I'm going to select Survivalist, and then I'm going to go back to Traits, and I'm going to figure out where I can find two more points. Let's see... Animal Discord, no, he doesn't... Animals don't hate him. Uh, asthmatic, no. You know what? He's a very active guy. Fast metabolism might work, actually, because he will need to eat more than most people to keep his energy up while he's going through the apocalypse. Yeah, I think I will go with that. Now, it will actually cause me some issues later, because obviously I'm going to need to be able to find more food than most people are, but I tend to find that water is a bigger problem than food, usually. So, skills. I can't afford any of these. But, the skills that my character starts with because of his profession are cooking, two points of that, which is important because that's how you make food, fabrication, which is making things, obviously, specifically it's making tools, usually. Um, first aid, that can be very important because it allows me to use um, bandages and first aid kits better, as well as, later on, creating those items. Uh, survival, four points of survival. That's actually very important. It is important for both getting better, you know, getting more items out of animals I kill, as well as crafting certain items that are useful uh, for a survivalist. Swimming is useful if I'm well swimming, obviously, and trapping will let me set and disarm traps. So that might actually help me both secure a location and basically hunt for food. Now, there are other skills, and if it, if they become important, we'll go through them. We will go with other characters later. For now, we're going to be going with the Woodsman Survivalist. Now, I could go with random names. If I hit the question mark button on my keyboard, I get a random name. Wyatt Sanchez. Eh, I don't really like that. Daniel Danahe. Huh. I might have to remember that one. Ethan Stewart. No, that sounds more like a spy or a businessman. Lucas Griffin. No. Gendo Griffin. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Ethan Gellion is sneaking in here. Uh, Joshua Rodriguez. No. Craig Ferguson. Oh dear lord, I could be a comedian. No. Okay. Reno Parker. No. Matt Williams. Jack Howard. Angel Jones. Winter Gutblood. You know what? That would be great, but no. Kate Bell. Pascal Filipovich. Lucas Moore. Jaden Miller. Okay. I'm going to have to come up with my own name. Jimmy Gerhardt. Jimmy Gerhardt works for me. I don't know why, but Jimmy Gerhardt works. And yes, this is... Basically, your overview screen is asking you if you're completely done. I am, in fact, completely done. And now, welcome to our world. Now, I'm afraid I've spent quite a bit of time on this opening. I'm probably going to have to stop here. We'll have to start actually playing the game in another video. But I want to welcome you once again to the first video, or possibly the second. This has gone on for a while of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead and the first video of my channel. I hope you will join me for future videos, and in the meantime, well, don't let the world end.